Hi everybody, Janet Boyer here, and today I am excited to do a coffee tarot walkthrough. And I'm not a, just going to walk you through every um, card in the deck that I have here, but I'm going to show you a little sneak peek too of the Coffee Tarot Companion book. And yes, that is me. I wrote the companion book, and my husband Ron did the art. And it's full color and awesome, and I'll show you that in a bit. Um, but first, let's do a walkthrough. Now, whenever you get a coffee tarot deck from us, it comes in a hand-sewn bag. That is made by our son, Noah. So, yes, Shea Boyer is definitely a family affair. And it comes in this beautiful bag. The fabric um, varies depending um, upon our suppliers, because sometimes fabrics seem to go out of print just like a book would, and we can't find it. But this one has been... Um, available for a while and I love it because it has the different types of coffee and our son makes the drawstring bag and he even um, put some fray check on the aglet so it doesn't fray with the ribbon so record I should say so and our coffee deck fits perfectly in it of course it was made specifically for larger decks like ours and oracles and of course you can put other things in it as well, you know, if you wanted. And the first thing you get with our deck is a signed title card. We both sign it for you, so isn't that nice? And this is the Grande Edition because um, initially years ago we made a Majors Only deck and we wanted to see how the reception of that would be, um, you know, before we were committed to a full deck. And um, as some of you may know, um, our previous deck, Snowland, um, was released back in 2012 and it's um, based entirely like in snow and frost and ice as Arctic animals and Norse mythology and fairy tales and stories that are set in winter um, like um, uh, Dickens work and Hans Christian Andersen things like that and then um, one day we were brainstorming at the table and believe me we've brainstormed quite a few decks <laughs> But only two have made it into fruition because it is such um, a time-intensive project and um, my husband Ron has a full-time regular job um, because art rarely pays the bills. Um, so we thought, oh, wouldn't it be cool if we did a coffee deck because we all like coffee in this house. And so we started sketching it and we did the majors only. It was really received um, wonderfully and so then we did the full deck. And so here it is. Now, these four are called significators, and I have a system that I have created. I call it Soul GPS, a significator system, and even a mini test that you can do yourself before any reading or to give to a client to kind, to, to kind of hone in where they are emotionally and spiritually. And believe me, it is accurate. But you can also use these cards for altars, uh, like altar cards for, to represent the four elements. And yes, um, Ron Hand did these as well. They're done in watercolor pencils. And this is water, earth, fire, and air. And so everybody gets that as well. Oh, let me show you the card backing. And I explain the system um, in the Coffee Tear Companion book, so you won't be lost on how to use that. And this is the back design. It's reversible just in case you decide to read reversals, as you can see. Isn't that a gorgeous design? Custom made coffee cup, kind of like representing the chakras. And oh, Ron did a great job. Okay, so here we go. This is the bean. Coffee Tarot's version of the full. It all starts with the bean, the very first um, step towards making coffee. This is our version of magician. We call it magic, because whenever you drink coffee, my gosh, magic happens, right? This is secret recipe, our version of the high priestess. And as you can see, we have a darker and a lighter um, set of shells to represent the two pillars in the traditional high priestess card, and of course, um, the duality of the checkered a uh, parquet floor, which is um, very prominent in alchemical symbolism, and of course instead of um, the curtain behind her, we have the storeroom. What's back there? What secret recipe could she be holding? Then we have the French press, our representation of the Empress, right? And we have like a tin mold of a bunny to represent the fertility and other symbols of, of the Empress. And you can read all about these in depth, and of course in the companion book. Emperor, 
And you can see the map. He is king of the domain, king of the coffee domain, and he's got a servant there with um, a bushel of coffee beans talking about trade routes. Tradition, this is our version of the Hierophant, which is like teaching and instruction. Isn't that cool? Mimicking the cave paintings, except the animals are made with coffee beans. <laughs> Lover's card. Lovers share that biscotti, don't they? Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, the majors are done all in sepia and coffee tones, um, where you'll see the majors um, are done in color. So we thought we'd keep the majors in coffee colors. And so fuel, this is our version of the chariot, but instead it is a huge percolator being sent off in the sky. Strength, sometimes that's about grace under pressure and balance. And uh, Juan is a nod to Juan Valdez, and he is balancing a coffee cup on his bicep and putting sugar in at the same time. Seeking, this is our version of The Hermit, and oh my god, the titles of these books are so funny. Um, barista Confessions and things like that, and all of them are listed um, in the book, and so you'll get to see it, but you can see it quite well here, but Hermit sometimes um, withdraws, and he seeks answers for himself. Roasting Wheel, our version of the Wheel of Fortune, and boy, sometimes it gets hot in there, doesn't it, folks? This is the Scale, our version of Justice, but we made it more like um, balancing, and there's coffee beans and tons of money and jewels, and you can interpret that however you want, like when you're weighing two things. You're trying to be objective. This is hanging, a version of the hanged man. Notice that his two sons are <laughs> goofing around and one of them's pulling the other one up by a string. But he's also just hanging out, so to speak, and his coffee cup is hanging. We deliberately um, tell stories with our cards so that you can, um, you know, look at it and, and actually, you know, ask yourself what happened before, what happened after, what's going to happen, and use it in um, the context of readings, especially if you're an intuitive reader. Out of Business is a version of death, and it says closed and for sale. It looks a little rickety, but you know what? There's a little flower that's growing in the crack. So there's Hope for New Life, Blending, a version of Temperance, The Middle Path, Mixing Things Together, Synthesis, Caffeine. This is our version of the devil. <laughs> Oh, hilarious, and I don't know if you can tell, but the pattern is made of coffee beans. And notice that there is a handcuff as a part of um, the coffee cup, and she's shaking, you know, because of the caffeine. She's addicted, and so because sometimes the devil indicates addiction. The rip is our version of the tower. There's a little mouse there, and oh my gosh, got a rip. That thing's going to be... Um, exploding and falling down really soon if something's not done. The star, this is a homage to Wonder Woman, my um, one of my heroes. And Ron did this one for me, and almost like is a comic book type thing, except in, in coffee bean pattern. And it looks like Wonder Woman with a lasso of truth. Yes! <laughs> the moon, this is surrealistic. And um, he, he, you can see a coffee bean in his visor, and he's on the moon, and, and he did some cool touches to it, like um, the number on the patch correlates to the major arcana key that usually is associated with it, and I talk about all these neat little things in the book, so. The sun, waking up before dawn with the rooster, and he, even the sun, needs coffee. This is probably one of my favorite cards in the deck, Wake Up Call. This is our version of Judgment. And uh, Angel's got the trumpet on it, but the Angel's like, hey, man, I'll revive you with some coffee. So a person's going to have a revelation, a wake-up call, perhaps even a reinvention and reincarnation. Who knows, right? This is the World Cafe, our version of the World Card. You know, the different senses in the four corners. And the Guru is perfectly balanced all as well in the circle of caffeinated bliss. Okay, now we're going to go to the water soup. This is the Ace of Water, and water is our version of cups. Oh my god, isn't it cute? Um, all of our Aces, you'll notice, are like um, a sense of uh, an invitation to reconciliation or an invitation for understanding. So we thought that was a neat way of portraying the Aces in our deck. as an invitation to not only delve deeper into whatever that element is and what it entails, but also for understanding and compassion. And Crab's like, please don't eat me, Mr. Gordon's Fisherman, <laughs> and the Nautilus shell 
beautiful colors. Two of Water. They're in Gay Paris. Coffee for two. Sense of intimacy and, and diplomacy and comfort. And the Three of Water. Happy family. Uh-oh, it's Goldie's Diner. That must be Goldilocks. Papa, Mama, Baby Bear. We're having coffee at Three of Water. Four of Water. Oh, here's the board, um security guard who's in our snowland deck and he's still bored it doesn't matter that he's got all this cool things like god almighty spitting some coffee in adam's cup and uh got a bronze statue to life but hey ho ho hum to him clueless oh poor baby bear spilled isn't that sad <laughs> look at those tears baby bear was crying over spilled coffee the five of water and then Six of Water, Nostalgia, a grandpa showing his um, granddaughter. Oh, look, I was at the World's Fair, and I had this cool invention there um, to revolutionize coffee. Isn't that neat? Blast from the Past, Seven of Water. His choices, oh my god. You know how it is, you go to the grocery store and you have tons of choices. And um, I actually have... All of these listed in the book, all of these cool names, and I also even have, um, I even mentioned the ones that didn't make it, because Ron um, submitted, oh gosh, 30 or more names to me, and I picked out the ones I like best, so. As you can see, a lot of thought goes into our deck. We don't just churn it out. Um, Eight of Water, walking away from um, just a bad situation, like still instant coffee for crying out loud. Yeah, you want to go to the to the coffee plantation, you know, you want to do it right, don't settle right folks, nine of water, the wish card, and boy she wishing, get that beautiful, um, jewel encrusted magic lamp, and he's holding coffee, and holy cow, right, <laughs> ten of water, happy family, woohoo, ten of water, even grandma's in on it, and the dog, and my god, the dad's got the whole coffee pot, and even the baby's got a sippy cup. He looks a bit like Justin Trudeau, don't you think? <laughs> okay, and here we are going to do the court cards, and the court cards we decided to make them more um, representation-like, um, and Ron was a bit resistant to this. I'm like, it's okay, some people, you know, people don't mind necessarily reading with court cards that are more, are more representational. He likes to do full-blown stories. And then, you know, I think what won him over was the fact that it would um, be just a bit faster to make as well. And he designed all of the cups and all, the, and we discussed the symbols, we t discussed the colorations, and again, that's all in the companion book as well. So this is the page of water. The pages are smaller cups, and they have scrolls on them because they're messengers. Knight of water, they have what looks like um, horse chess pieces to represent, you know, knights. They, they are full of speed and they burgeon and um, they're full of zest and those are in a travel mug so that's the Knight of Water. Queen of Water is in a beautiful porcelain mug and she has a nice ornate crown so it's the Queen of Water and then the King of Water is in a nice sturdy black ceramic mug um, denoting his power and oversight uh, and of course as you can see the crown is blue they're color coded Okay, so now we go to the Earth suit. I don't know if this is a gopher, I think. And he's offering a cup of coffee to the former. Is that adorable? Two of Earth. We've got a barista. And, of course, she is juggling. And um, she has a tattoo written in Japanese. You'll have to get the book to see what it says, won't you? <laughs> it's one of my favorite cards, too. And she's just blowing bubbles. And, you know, she's so used to it. And that's what the two of earth is, you know, it's juggling things aptly and ably. Three of earth, a little bit different take on it we, we did for this one, more of an excavation and going by the book, following a plan. Sort of like the guys were following a plan, you know, in the three of pentacles and the right of weight when they're constructing the church, but it's a little bit different, a little more depth I think. Four of earth, of course he is being a miser, representation <laughs> of having his arms around that huge cup, you know, Mr. Greedy, holding on, five of earth, this is sad, he's at the church of coffee, of course, 
And he's out there. There's some change, coffee cup. It does say welcome, but yet his back's to it and he feels dejected. What could that mean? Well, we'll get a lot of ideas on my book. But um, they're open to interpretation. Six of Earth. This is from a famous funny movie. Mm-hmm. But instead of getting, um, giving out coins, he's giving out donuts and coffee. Which is kind of funny considering the movie's homage. He doesn't fit that at all. Seven of Earth is a woman inspecting um, coffee plants, coffee trees, to see how the cherries are looking. Beautiful, huh? Inspection and evaluation. I love this one. Eight of Earth. The Latte Pro 8.0. And he's making latte art. And it's so cool that his tip drawers include things like money and screws and <laughs> coils and springs. I love that. Nine of Earth. Boy, she looks familiar. This is a woman who knows her stuff. She's comfortable with her gifts, comfortable with what she has. She has earned things. Lots of foresight and visionary. Opulence. Ten of Earth. This is the rich intergenerational family. We've got some laggers going on here. Got a lion and a tiger, and that's sweet. Multi-generational um, coffee roasters <laughs> from Africa. Then we enter the Earth um, royalty suit. We got Page of Earth. As you can see, these are bronze. Knight of Earth. Queen of Earth. And King of Earth. Okay, then we're going to the fire suit. We've got Ace of Fire. Where does that tree remind you of? Wizard of Oz, maybe? Two of Fire. Working on a painting together, collaboration. Three of Fire. Wow, is his ship come in or is his ship on fire? A lot of things, a lot of stories you can tell with this one, huh? I forget what this is called. Ron's in the other room, so I can't ask him. I think it ends with a C. There's a certain method where you pour in the filter and it goes down. Um, if I remember, I'll shout it out. For a fire, community getting together, celebrating, and it's just so happy to celebrate Noah. There's a little baby kind of looking into the future. He's graduating. Piece of the puzzle. You are the piece of the puzzle. You're needed in the community. You matter. Coffee fight, five of fire. It's all fun and games till so somebody gets a shot of espresso in the eye. Six of fire, victory card, winning something. Seven of fire, zombies, gotta chase them away. Eight of fire, speedy messages. Nine of fire, a war scene, rather sad, huh? Ten of fire, burdens. I got page of fire. Knight of Fire, Queen of Fire, and King of Fire. And then we have the Ace of Air. He looks like he's from Sesame Street. Two of Air. Oh my God. Americans, is this not our political system right now? No truce here. Three of Air, which is very sad. Aww. Sad scene. Four of Air. Another famous movie. She's got... He's got a knife up his sleeve. Oh yeah. Five of air aliens. Still in the coffee. Six of air science. That is the caffeine molecule. Mm -hmm. Seven of air. Eight bit. Cool, huh? I love this card. Strategy. Eight of air. Don't have to be in a prison if it's open. Nine of air nightmares. Homage to the screen by Edward Munch. Ten of air, oh my god, too much coffee, overthinking, there's Mr. Ron. And then we have the page of air, knight of air, queen of air, and king of air. Okay, well, I'm going to do another video for the book separately. You can get your deck at coffee deck, um, what is it, coffeetarotdeck.com or janaboyer.com or on Etsy. And talk to you later. Bye-bye.